We should have successfully learned how to draw a person looking at us. That would be oblique view where they're looking straight at you. Then we've done profile. That means the person's looking sideways. They could be looking to the left or the right. Either way, that's profile view. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over so that I utilize the back of the paper, okay? If you wanna add color to that, maybe you should use a new sheet of paper. Um, but what I wanna do now is I wanna draw someone in a different perspective, a different point of view. So I'm gonna start with their head shape. So I don't want it to look like they're looking at me. I don't want it to look like they're looking to the side. Hmm, they should have a neck. And they should have shoulders, whoever they are. Now, as you guys are looking at this, you should be thinking, hmm, that's more of a circle than an oval. And you would be correct. So what we're doing is we're altering the shape of the head to make it look like they're looking in a different direction. So you guys should be thinking which way are they looking if their head looks like this shape. Hopefully you're saying they're looking up. So if this guy tilts his head back to look up, if you notice the shape, the oval of his head, in that perspective, it starts to look like more of a circle shape, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with that circle shape to make it seem like they're looking up more. We're also gonna use those crosshair lines. This has been helping us. Because they're not turned side to side, they're just looking up. The vertical line is gonna go through the middle of the face. You notice I'm drawing that lighter because it should be a sketch line. It shouldn't be something we see very strongly. Then if they're looking up, their eyes wouldn't be in the middle. Their eyes would slide up. So I'm gonna curve this line higher up than I did before. Now I can put the features on there. So what I'm gonna pay attention to is that line that curves up that really seems like, that makes it very clear that the person is looking up. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that curve to help me. So when I draw their eyes looking up, I'm gonna curve up then back down, but instead of bringing it this way like I've been doing, I'm gonna curve up and then down again. So this will seem like the shape of their eyes is turned in the direction of the ceiling or perhaps the sky, whatever they're looking at that's so interesting, okay? But we also learned earlier two points. If they turn away from us, it's gonna seem like they're closer. So with profile, we figured out going this way, we would shorten the eye on one side. Here the eyes are both the same size, but if the person is tilting their head up, if I tilt the pencil up, it sort of looks like it's getting shorter even though it's still the same size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to need to shrink the distance between things. So before we would have said from the eyes to the chin, the nose is gonna go somewhere in the middle. That's not true anymore. Everything's sliding up. So to create this effect, you're gonna make it seem like the nose is closer than it's been before. Now we all know if they're looking up, you can probably see in their nose a little bit. I'm not really interested at looking inside someone's nose. So you're gonna do some contours for nostrils. Uh, don't put any little treasures in there. All right, then I'm gonna slide the mouth up closer to the nose. So the distance is gonna seem like it's shrinking again. At first it's like, oh, they're sad, they're frowning. No, we're just utilizing that curve that we talked about, curving up and down. Then I will build the top lip, the split between their lips, and then the bottom lip. So that would seem like they're looking up. So the last feature we're gonna put on there would be the ears. So with the ears, you kinda of have to see this. If I put my finger here and I leave it there and I tilt this guy's head up, well, it seems like the ear either goes higher or lower. So which is it? it seems like it goes lower, it slid down, okay? So if you'll notice, the top of the ear is now behind the corner of the eye. There's some distance between them. So I'm gonna make note of that in my drawing. So instead of starting it at the corner of the eye, I'm gonna go lower. I'm gonna start it closer to the nose and I'm gonna bring it down towards the mouth. All right, this appears like our person's looking up. Now you're gonna think about other things that you should change. 
what the details of their eyes might look like in this perspective, um, what their hair might look like, clothing. So you're adding any finishing details you think this should have. All right, guys, I look forward to seeing what you send me when you finish.